All right, guys. How's it going? Um, uh, I cannot find my remote. I've been trying to find it for like uh forever. I can't find my remote, and my internet's not working. But all right. So um, as soon as my internet pops up like it just did right now, I will get started with answering your guys's questions. This is Q and A number seven. I have two comments. Okay, and, um, see, so yeah, I'm sorry, guys, if, is this, uh, alright, it's good, okay, whatever. Alright, so, uh, let's see, how many questions did I get asked this time? I'm pretty sure I got, what is this, number six? 53, which is more than last time. <sighs> God damn it, guys, alright, we're gonna go ahead and get started here, stop wasting time. And if you guys please feel free to ask any question, um, leave a comment in the description below and I'll be sure to answer it next week, next Saturday. I do these every Saturday. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Let me just... Alright. Uh, let's see, first question. Uh, how do you help... How do you, Kurt Angel Kobe Bryant. Sorry if I said that wrong. Have you seen Red Riding Hood yet, um, the 2003 one? No, I have not. I do remember you suggesting that to me. Um, I'll be sure to check it out sooner or later. Um, Great Geek Game Reviews says, Try to see an old 80s flick called Creep Show and maybe do a review on it. Creep Show? I love Creep Show. I have a Creep Show uh, sticker somewhere. Um, I will do a review on it as soon as I get it. I will. Do it, okay. Horror Reviewer Twenty One asked, "Can you do a room tour?" No. Um, Horror Reviewer Twenty One asked, "Did you see Evil Dead Two? And if so, can you review all four? I already did, but I did know. Um, I just uploaded them Thursday. Yeah, I uploaded them Thursday. And uh, please check out my review for the new film, uh, the new Evil Dead. Um." Probably my longest review yet, but uh, I talk a lot about it, and I love the hell out of that movie. Um, horror horror, uh, blah, blah, blah. horror reviewer twenty one says hi. How's it going? Horror reviewer twenty one says if you could watch. Okay, here's one of these like long paragraph long questions that they're gonna take me such a long time to answer, and I have to get into real big depth into like what my answers. Okay. If you could watch any horror movie 88 times, what would it be? Okay, so, okay. Um, let's see, if I could watch any horror movie 88 times, what would it be? I'm going to go ahead and say The New Evil Dead. I just saw it once, and that's, that's a movie that I can watch 20 times in a row and not get tired of. That movie's so awesome, man. Definitely my favorite movie of the year so far. Um, if you die, what do you want to be in the afterlife? reincarnation um i would want to be a bird i don't know i want to fly what college do you want to go to well i, I already mentioned this in my last q a i wanted to go U to usc my grades aren't so high um so unfortunately i might not get into doing that but um just any sort of film school any four-year college i don't know um I got A's and B's on my report cards, so I want to go to Columbia College Film Art School. Good for you. All right. Your Rage Gamer asks, would you, would you ride a horse that can shit butter, or would you rather ride a magical rug with 16 wishes, but the rug gave you AIDS? No, wait. I read that wrong. Hang on. What, what the? Okay. All right, hang on. Would you ride a horse... That shits butter. Okay, the horse shits butter. Remember that. Or, or, would you ride? Would you rather ride a magical rug, sort of like Aladdin, with sixteen wishes? But the rug gave you AIDS. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, you know, I, 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 would, I would, I probably would rather ride a horse that shits butter. That probably would have been one of my 16 wishes, because I've always wanted to ride a horse that shits butter. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that, because I do not want AIDS. I hear it's very painful. Ah, Alright, Art Games asks, do you like Lady Gaga? Fuck no. 
No. No. Never mention that name again. She's horrible. Okay. Would you rather be hung on a meat hook by your back or have a pitchfork screech across your skin? Let's see. Um. Would you rather be hung on a meat hook by your back? So like a poem, like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's okay. Or would you rather have a pitchfork screeched across your skin? Um, probably pitchfork screeched across my skin. Not because of the fact that it would be uh, less painful. Because I'm pretty sure both of them are pretty freaking painful. But um, that one just seems a little bit less harmless. Don't you think that it's sad that the father raped his son in a Serbian film? I did. Um, a Serbian film, the most controversial film of all time. Uh, spoiler alert, if you have not seen it, I'm pretty sure none of you would want to see it. Let me close my window. Oh. Um, yeah, a Serbian film. It's a very disturbing film. And spoiler alert, he rapes his son at the end. I didn't really find it disturbing just more like shocking or no sorry i said that wrong i didn't really find it sad but more like shocking um i i, I never get sad in movies like i'm i'm kind of a tough guy um horror movies definitely do not make me sad i've not even a teardrop i uh i think i've only cried in like three movies in my entire life one of them was up the disney pixar one that's my favorite pixar film is up I cried when I first saw that. Uh, the Blind Side. Don't ask why. I, I I I don't cry that much when I watch a movie. I just all right. What if you woke up in all your movies, comedy and horror? So you're talking about all my 500 movies that I have, all your posters and action figures and books. That's a lot of shit. Were stolen. What would you do? Um, what would I do? Well, I would probably feel like a bit of relief, because, like, I have no more stuff. I have a lot of free space. And I would probably start a new life. That's what I would do. Um, I'm not going to do that shit all over again. And would, what you saw, what if you saw a figure in the corner of your room, and it was just staring at you with a huge demonic smile and big eyes? What do you do? Man, you were really disturbed mentally, kid. <laughs> like, you're really disturbed, aren't you? Okay, um, what would I do if I saw some creepy-ass guy, shadow figure, standing in the corner? Um, I would probably freak out. But, um, after a while, if it's still standing there, I'd probably, like, go up to it up close. And if it's somebody I know, or, like, a famous demon or whatever, I'd probably ask for its autograph. Maybe have my picture taken. Um, I dare you to look up Blue Waffle. Was I just born yesterday? I know what a Blue Waffle is. Um, I know what a Blue Waffle is since middle school. Like, 7th grade, I've known what a Blue Waffle is. But, um, no I won't. It's kind of disgusting. Halloween661 asks... <laughs> If you could hang out with any horror film director for a day, who would it be and why? Now, this is something I actually have thought about before. Um, I would like to hang out with... Uh, that's a tough one, man. I don't want to say Adam Green because I've already mentioned them way too much with like all these director questions. But I kind of want to say Adam Green. He just looks like a fun guy. He listens to awesome music. and But I mean, I'm trying to pick somebody other than him. Like uh, Eli Roth or uh, T. West. One of those two. Mr. Micah Padilla. Sorry if I said that wrong. You should do a review on Traces of Death. Or Faces of Death. All of the deaths are supposed to be 100% real. Um, Faces of Death, of Death. I have heard of it. I've seen bits and pieces. My uncle, who lives right next door to me, has the entire club, like, four movie collection. Um, it seems like it's something I would want to check out, but I don't know. 
I, it is said, said to be one of the most disturbing films ever made, but... Um, 50% of the movies are bullcrap. Wait, what'd you say? All the deaths are supposed to be 100%. No, they are not. I'm telling you that right now. I'd say maybe about 30% of the scenes in that film are real. But it's all fake. Like, the part with the... There's a part in here. They're just, like, random video clips. That's what the movie is. Just showing random disturbing clips. And there's a part where they open up a monkey's head and start eating its brains. That part is fake. Um, they, it's actually on imdb.com. Go look up the movie. Uh, go under trivia. And it says that the monkey brain they're eating is actually jello. So... It's, it's all fake. Like, I'd say 75% of it is uh, real. Or, no, sorry, fake. Um, there's also another scene where somebody gets electrocuted in the electrocuted chair and he starts, a uh, phone cup starts coming out of his mouth. That's toothpaste. So, it's fake. Um, yeah. Tisha Henry asks, I like horror. I like horrors like when a stranger calls and the strangers. Do you know of any horror? Horrors that are kind of like those. Um, right, do you mean the new one of Stranger Calls or the old one? I guess I'm gonna assume you're meaning the remake, cause the Strangers and One of Stranger Calls were pretty much uh, released the same kind of year. Um, what would I suggest to you? Well, shit. Um. <laughs> You know, go ahead and watch these movies. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of rally up what movies I think everybody should see. Splinter, Amusement, Trick or Treat, Satan's Little Helper, The Cabin in the Woods, The New Evil Dead. Please go see that. Um, crap, what else? Uh, there's so much more. The Loved Ones. Go watch The Loved Ones. Uh, VHS. John dies at the end. I recently just saw that. Not much of a horror movie, but still pretty cool. Um, the Collection. Um, Stitches. It's a recent film. That's pretty cool. Um, Necromantia. I'm trying to think of other ones, but I can't really think of them right now. The Bay. Um, I know it seems like you're into like a, like more modern horror movies. Um, I kind of understand that, but uh, you should still definitely check out The Evil Dead. It's an 80s horror film, much older, but it's still one of the best damn movies ever made, in my opinion. Um, Mr. Micah Padilla asks, By the way, if you write more books, you should upload them on this writing community called Wattpad. It's the most popular one. I will keep that in mind. Um, George Lozano asks, what is the most mean-spirited horror film you have ever seen? The most mean-spirited horror film I've ever seen. Well, first off, I'm a pretty mean-spirited person myself. Mainly because of my sarcasm. Sometimes I offend people. Uh, mean-spirited, uh... Slaughtered Vomit Dolls was pretty... F uh, that was a pretty messed up movie. Uh, mean spirited though. I don't want to say a Serbian film, although that was kind of shocking. I still think I've seen worse. Uh, not Cannibal Holocaust. Irreversible. That one was kind of brutal. Uh, mean spirited. I'm just trying to think of uh, any disturbing movies. Slaughtered Vomit Dolls or um, August Underground Mortem. Those are pretty messed up movies. Uh, Seth Coulter, uh, sorry if I said that wrong, asks, What's the worst movie you've ever seen? Actually, I have five. Jason X, Hold Your Breath, Borderline Cold, The Mailman, Zombie Nation. Enough said. Um, are you straight? Yes, I am straight. I do enjoy women. And, <laughs> um, I, I, I have nothing wrong with gay people, though. Like, I have a couple friends that are gay, you know, whatever. I'm not doesn't really matter to me. Uh, what is your favorite food? I like cheeseburgers. Um, I was just kidding about Are You Straight? But really, dude, thanks for making these videos. They're really inspiring. Thank you. Uh, Halloween661 asks, What would you do if the directors of Zon- God damn it, again with these movies! Okay, 
What would you do if the directors of Zombie Nation and The Mailman came together and made a remake of Hatchet? Holy shit, I would have been pissed. And you were forced to watch it. But you could stop them from making it if you buy both Zombie Nation and The Mailman for $53 each. Would you do it? You know, man, if they if they made a remake of Hatchet, I probably would have committed suicide right there. And not literally, I'm being sarcastic, but they, like, um, I had to pay. I I'm pretty much gonna have to waste. I put fifty three dollars down the drain. I mean, I'd spend fifty dollars to stop this madness. You know, save the fans. Uh. I'd probably buy those pieces of shit for for fifty three dollars and um and then probably burn them, have like a little party. What is your favorite holiday themed slasher film? Holiday themed slasher film. Holiday like is and are you do you mean just like a Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or do you mean like any holiday in general? I'll answer both for you. My favorite Christmas horror film or slasher film. Uh, what's one that I what's one that I just recently saw? Silent Night, Deadly Night, and um, my favorite holiday-themed in general slasher film of all time has to be Trick or Treat. That is one of my favorite horror films of all time, and um, yeah, it's just the Halloween feeling it gives you. Like such so such an awesome movie. What is your favorite film that Tom Savini has either acted in, directed, or done special effects in? Uh. Happy you mentioned that, because Tom Savini is going to be Monster Palooza next week. I'm going to meet him. Super stoked. But um, let me let me go on IMDb and see the list of movies he's done. I know he did um, From Dust Till Dawn and The Makeup for Dawn of the Dead. Uh, he's in Prince of Being a Wallflower? Hmm. Um, Alright, give me a minute. I need to look at this for a second. Oh, that's right. He did Friday the 13th. Uh, he did a really terrible movie just recently. He directed... Oh, that's right. Um, He directed Night of the Living Dead, the 1990 remake. I really liked that movie. I was, I, I was really surprised. I really liked it. Um, He did a segment in both the two anthology films, Dead Time Stories and The Theater Bazaar. Um... Creep Show 2, Makeup Effects. Um, Maniac, The Burning, The Prowler, Creep Show, Alone in the Dark, Day of the Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, God, there's a lot of movies to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and have to say my favorite film that involves Tom Savini. Dawn of the Dead. Probably Dawn of the Dead. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, what did you do? Okay. Tisha Henry asks, Is there a horror film that you really want on DVD but don't have? Only 5,000 of them? Like, I'm a DVD collector. Like, uh, I want I want DVDs. I want movies. Uh, there's too many to mention. I'm gonna go ahead and say every single horror movie that I don't have, I want on DVD or Blu-ray. Of course, besides Jason X, The Mailman, uh, Domination, and Borderline Colts, and uh, what was the other one? I forget. Um, what are your top ten favorite movies of all time, and why do you like them so much? Um, well, here's one of them. Beowulf is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, Beowulf, Jurassic Park Three, Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, Hatchet. Mm. That's a tough question, man. Hatchet. The Evil Dead. Um. I know some of you are gonna kind of hate me for this, but Hellboy Two: The Golden Army. I know it's a it's a good movie. I don't think it's anybody's favorite, but I've seen that movie way too much times. Um, any of the Saw movies? Seven. 
Damn, that's a tough question. I like the animated movie Nine. That was really cool. That's all I can give you for now. I'm sorry. I can't really. Oh, the cabin in the woods. Um, I have one more to share with you guys, and that one movie is. Get ready for it. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park one and three are in my top ten. So yeah. Um, are there any movies that the original was way better than the remake, in your opinion? Well, I just recently saw the remake for Evil Dead, and, um, I gave it a, a bit of a lower rating than I gave the original Evil Dead. Um, I still think the original is just, just an itty-bitty better than the remake. The remake was so awesome, though, but, um, yeah, there's one. Chucky. I get distracted a lot. Um, are there any um, The original was better than the remake. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, now I'm thinking of a lot now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say Prom Night. Uh, Record, the Rec movie, uh, the Spanish horror film. Um, they made an American remake called Quarantine. Um, I loved I loved Record so much better. Um, that's all I'm gonna say for now. Oh, and The Hills Have Eyes by far. Or no, wait, sorry. I liked the remake of The Hills Have Eyes better than the original. I was I just, I got mixed the other way around. Um, will you review the Saw movies? Yes, I will. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get to that as soon as possible, but um, I I just I'm doing so many other stuff. Um, I will get to that though. What is the scariest movie you have ever seen? Even though I haven't seen it, I'm going to go ahead and see The Exorcist. I still need to watch that. Linda Blair is going to be a Monster Palooza, so I definitely should watch it before I go. Halloween661 asks, what are your top five favorite horror remakes? Now, here we go. Um, Evil Dead. <laughs> I kind of lost track there. Evil Dead, um... Alright, you know I'm going to kind of stop this video for a second and think about this for a little bit. Alright, I thought of them. Um, Evil Dead, The Hills Have Eyes, Piranha 3D, um... Crap, what was the other one? Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, I know a lot of you would disagree with me with that, but I really like that remake. And the, uh, 2004 Dawn of the Dead. Those are my favorites. What is your least favorite horror franchise? My least favorite horror franchise will have to be... I really don't know, man. That's tough. I want to go ahead and say Leprechaun, but I don't because I haven't seen any of them, but... I really don't know. I don't think I have a least favorite horror franchise. If there's a horror franchise, then I probably like at least one movie from that franchise, so I can't really answer that. That's kind of tough. What's the worst horror film you've ever seen? You've seen this year, and why? The worst horror film I've seen this year. Um, even though it didn't come out this year, I'm gonna go ahead and say Paranormal Activity Four was pretty terrible. Um, I'm trying to think of one that I just recently saw that, like, came in theaters. Mama was good. Evil Dead was good. Um. I'm just gonna go ahead and say Funeral Activity 4. Um. Is there any horror film you wish you could see in the theater or want to see again in the theaters again? Evil Dead, the remake. I definitely, I think I'm gonna go see it again. I really do. But that was just awesome, man. Art Games asks, do you have any dogs or cats? If so, what kind? Um, I do have a dog. He is a black lab. Um, he's, I think he's like maybe 10 years old now. He weighs 106 pounds, so he's very fat. He has like this fat body and these like stubby little legs. He's so cute. Um, his name is Milo. And, um, yeah. Does it get annoying, and do you have... Wait, sorry. Does it get annoying, and do you hate us if we mention these movies? 
Jason X, Hold Your Breath, Borderline Cole, or The Mailman. Um, do I hate you guys if you mention those? Um, yeah, I fucking hate you guys. I mean, that's why I make videos for you guys every day. Um, but no, really, no, it's just... I think I don't think it's because I don't like you guys because you ask me those. I think it's that when you remind me of those films and how terrible they were, they just, like, bring back terrible memories, so... Yeah. Art Games asks, have you seen Devil, and could you review it? Um, yes, I love Devil, and I will end up reviewing it soon. Um, have you seen Crywolf? Yes, I have. Um, I will review that also. Somebody else asked me to review it, too. You know what, hang on. Crywolf. Alright, so that is now in my, uh, my list of stuff to review. The Cole Family Project asks, how old is your brother? My brother is, uh, right now he's 13 years old, so yeah. Art Games asks, have you seen the sequel to Rest Stop? Um, Rest Stop, Don't Hold Back, I believe that's what it's called. Yes, I have. Um, I liked it a lot better than the first one. What if someone went up to you and pushed you? Would you push or punch back? And what did you want, or what... Or hang, I'll just answer this first. Um, somebody went up to me and pushed me. Would I, would I push them or punch them? Probably neither. I'm not a very violent guy. Um, if somebody came up and pushed me. If they pushed me once, I probably would have like left it alone. But if they kept on pushing me, I probably would have done something about it. Um, I'd probably push them back and then start punching. I don't know. I've never been in a real fight like that. And I don't think I ever will be. Do you like jumping castles? I don't know what the hell that is, but I'll look it up. Oh, wait. Do you mean... Okay. <laughs> jumping castles. I thought that was something else. Um, I like to call them uh, bouncy houses. Uh, yeah, bouncy houses. Uh, I Jumping castles. I've never heard of that. Yes, I love jumping castles, especially when they have, like, the basketball hoops inside and you get to, um, put the ball into hoops, uh, except sometimes I just like to throw it at people and, uh, watch them bleed, because it's just more fun like that. Um, yeah, I love those things. What if a girl went up to you and pushed you? <sighs> why, why, what's up with all these questions of people trying to hurt me? Okay, um, if a girl went up to me and pushed me... Uh, again, same same answer with the other one. If uh, if she pushed me once, I probably went would have been like, uh, okay, don't do that again. Uh, she, if she kept pushy, pushing, I probably would have done something about it. Um, I know it's not okay to hit, hit girls, but um, if she's like trying to beat the crap out of me, I gotta do something. So I'll probably just like punch her in the face. My dad, when he was in high school, a girl actually went up to him, and pushed him for no reason. I think they were at a party and she was like drunk or something. My dad was in high school. He's like, why did you push me? She kept on pushing him and he punched her square in the face and she blacked out. And my dad left the party, but um, he didn't end up getting in trouble because you know what? He, it was self-defense. But yeah, so that's all the questions I got asked. Uh, that was kind of a weird ending for this. But um, yeah, so let me double check. No more all right, that is it. Okay, guys. Um, uh, sorry, this Q and A I uploaded it a little bit late. I'm actually recording this at five o'clock right now. Uh, so yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please leave a comment in the description down below. Please ask any sort of question. Uh, ask as many questions as you want. Just ask anything at all. I really don't mind. I love doing these, but also. Please, I, I, I'm getting kind of tired answering the same people's questions, like like those same 10 people that I always ask questions. I want to answer other people's questions. So, please, if you have not yet, ask a question. I'll be sure to answer it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!